Hello there, and uh, today what we're going to do is, is go over adding um, just a little bit more life to the environment. And so um, what I've done is create some grass that you can uh, walk through. Um, and then it'll, it'll process the direction that you go and uh, just kind of flow uh, through dir the direction, uh, depending on which, which way we're, w you're walking. So let's uh, go over how this works. Um, created uh, four objects, uh, four sprite objects, um, one for each direction, up, right, down, left. Um, the first frame of each is identical to, to it, uh, and then we're just trying to uh, get this to uh, just, uh, change direction depending on which, w which way we go. Uh, so as far as the, the grass object itself, um, it's, we start with one, just one particular object. Um, we start off with an initializing, making sure it's not, not in an animation state, and then starts in the first frame. So we're gonna set the animation to false, which is just that we're not currently playing the animation. And when the animation ends, we're gonna basically do the same thing and set it back to the original one um, because we've uh, changed which frame we're, we're doing. And what we're going to do is uh, check the collision uh, for the bo against the boy um, and make sure we're not currently playing an animation. Otherwise, we're going to tell it we're playing an animation. Um, otherwise, it'll just keep resetting the first frame and then you'll, you won't actually see anything happen. We're then going to check to see if the, the boy, um, his movement is is right, left, or up or down. So there's just an if statement to uh, determine which uh, animation we're going to actually play. Um, we're going to initialize to the first frame. Uh, we're then going to set how quickly we're going to play back those animations. So it's uh, it's uh, four, and and I always do this uh, frames per s uh, the number of frames per second divided by the room speed, so I just want four frames per second. This way, if you change, uh, in development, you change the speed of your your room, you don't aren't going to have to worry about, well, which, uh, what's the numerics, and have to reassign all these speed variables. Um, and in this, this case is, we've, s we're colliding with the, the person but we're not actually going to play any any of these animations to reset it. Uh, we're going to set it back to false, and that that could be we've just been walking along and we stop in the middle of the grass. We don't want that piece of grass to always think it's in an animation and never complete because we because we didn't change the speed. It's not completing the animation, so we just want to make sure when we're in the middle of something we don't we were resetting it. And the other thing we've I've added is if you're going to go ahead and run, um, we're going to create a little bit of a environment and variable like a leaf that's going to fly off, um, just kind of following the character. And and that's a pretty simple one. Um, that's just creating an object creating a little bit of gravity so this negative will make it go up, um, make it fade after a little while, um, playing the animation speed again. And just picking some random, so they're not all the same, just picking some random frame to start with. Um, go back to the leaf. And as it fades away, eventually deleting it. So now we'll go back to the, see how that actually all works. So like before, you walk to the right, it moves, uh, picks the right animation, picks the left animation, up or down. If you're moving it in an angle, it's going to just pick the, the, the right or left direction. Um, 
I think that looks much better. Um, the other is we uh, can run through it and as you can see there's just these little tiny leaves that are kind of following the character behind. It's not too obvious but it's just a little bit extra added to everything um, to add some interesting effects or just make the, the world come al alive a little bit better. Um, so next time what we're going to do is we're going to add wind to our environment that way they'll just naturally um, kind of move on their own. Um, so until next time, good luck coding.